All right, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Sotko here, and welcome to How to Mine a Vertcoin with the One Click Miner. And that is this little program right here. And to get this program, all you have to do is just go to GitHub slash Vertcoin. Um, I will put this link in the description of the video. Um, you can simply Google uh, Vertcoin One Click Miner, and you will get this page right here. So you're going to click on Vertcoin One Click Miner Setup, and that will give you an installer on your desktop. And then you'll be able to install this program here, which will allow you to mine Vertcoin. So if you don't know what Vertcoin is, Vertcoin is sort of like Bitcoin, sort of like Litecoin. Um, however, it uses the Lira2 algorithm to mine the coins, and that algorithm is ASIC proof. Um, so ASIC miners have a very hard time mining that particular algorithm. So the advantage of that is that it's able to be mined on the CPU and GPU of consumer grade hardware and it kind of keeps the, eh, well, let's say moderately rich people out of the equation that can afford three, four thousand dollar ASIC miners. So another good thing about Vertcoin is that it mines very quickly and it's worth currently about six dollars and fifty eight cents. Now just a few days ago this was worth um, I think five dollars and fifty cents. So it has gone up a little over a dollar in just a couple days, and you can actually check the price chart if you just Google Vertcoin uh, price. So once you get this program, you're gonna need another program too. Of course, you're gonna need a wallet to put the Vertcoin in. So what I like to use is the Electrum wallet. Uh, you can get the Vertcoin core wallet. However, it is uh, over a three gigabyte download, and every time you open it, it has to sync with the network. Um, so it's good to be a node. Of course, it is good to have that wallet. But if you just want something very simple, just head to electrum.vertcoin.org. So you can also Google uh, Electrum Vertcoin Wallet, and you'll get to this website right here, and you'll just download this wallet, and you'll set it up, and you'll get something like this. So I've already pre-mined a little bit of elect, um, excuse me, not Electrum, but Vertcoin, and uh, this is what I have gotten so far. Now, I haven't actually mined on the 29th or the 30th, but I, for some reason, have continuously received uh, Vertcoin from my previous mining of the uh, the previous day. So, so far, I have about 0 0.06 Vertcoin, which not a lot, but I did not put a lot of effort into the mining so far. So once you have your wallet, um, you'll actually need your receiving address. So once you have this all set up, just go ahead and copy that. And then you'll have this program here, Vertcoin One Click Miner. Once you have this all installed, um, essentially it'll look like this. There won't be any pools here. So what you need to do is the first thing you need to do is click um, on Find Peer to Peer uh, Nodes. And so Network One and Network Two, there's a big difference. So Network One is for those who have a hash rate of greater than 100. And network two is for those who have a hash rate less than 100. Now, you might not know which hash rate you have, but with my two GTX 980s, um, I pull about 50 hash rate. So if unless you have maybe two or three GTX 1080s, or you have many computers mining Vertcoin at once, you're likely to have less than 100 hash rate. So what you do is you hit scan. I've already previously hit scan. Once you hit scan, it takes about 20 or 30 seconds. It just sort of sits there um, for a little bit. But uh, just just be patient with that. So um, And then what you kind of want to do is find the lowest latency server you can uh, to you. So just uh, play around with that and try and find one of the lowest latency servers. So here we go. Um, this will work. 33 and this one's in Whittier in the United States, and it has a fee of 1%. So that's something you gotta watch out for too, is how big the fee is. Some people's fees are pretty outrageous, 3%, but 1% is just fine uh, to connect to. You can find some with lower fees than that, but um, again, if your latency is too high, uh, you're gonna wanna watch out for that. So uh, just find something with 1%, that is fine, because uh, basically, you have to run this node. Uh, so somebody is running this node, so they're taking their time, effort, their bandwidth of the internet, and things like that. So paying 1%, not a big deal at all. So just select that. You usually want to select multiple. So let's go ahead and just select a couple. And this reason for selecting multiple is that if one goes down, it'll automatically start mining on the other one. But we're just going to select one for now. But if you want to select multiple, just, uh, just do that, and uh, that's fine. So we'll just do the Whittier um, for now. And so then you want to take your wallet address from your Electrum and just paste that right in there. And then you're going to hit Add Selected Pools. 
pulls at it select uh, successfully and then we're ready to go but before we start mining let's take a look at settings so if you look at the settings here you might be a little confused as to what this fee and donation is and such this is if you're running your own pool your own node so don't really worry about this too much unless you decide to run your own pool um, so now we're all about ready to mine we have selected our pool from the nodes and we're ready to go. So now with Vertcoin, you can only mine either CPU or your GPU at once uh, with this program. Um, it's sort of in the beta phase, so maybe they'll maybe they'll add both at the same time. But right now, um, your GPU it will always mine faster than your CPU, uh, typically. And I have NVIDIA, so you're going to hit start. And then well, the first time you do this with either one of these, um, it'll ask you to update, and it's just a, a click, a quick click. Uh, say that ten times fast and uh, it'll update really fast. So we're gonna hit start, and my computer usually gets about 50 hash rate. Uh, I am recording, so it might be a little slow while we're doing it. So now I'll be getting about 50 there. So you can check your hash rate once and click on the pool, and it'll bring up a new window here. And you can, you can actually see your hash rate. Now this is a really big pool. So we'll have to find our hash rate here. So we need to find our address, and our address ends with TMP. So it should be in here somewhere. It might not be in here right away, um, only because we just we just now clicked. So we'll try that uh, one more time here. We'll try to find it. TMP, this is a really big... So I'm all the way at the bottom right now with just 3.2 uh, mega hash, um, which is fairly slow. But... It says 50 on here, and this will slowly climb up to um, to my actual hash rate. So it actually takes a little bit of time. It takes 10 or 15 minutes for it to climb all the way up. Um, if you check back in a few minutes, I'll probably be up here, and then a few minutes later, I'll be all the way up on the top. And so you can see the shares that you're going to get sooner or later here. It won't say any shares for a couple hours, uh, but then it, it, it'll show you what you're gonna get every, every so often. And eventually, you'll end up receiving the money um, or excuse me, the, the vert coin in your wallet eventually. So if you click on history, you'll you'll see them actually accumulate in your Electrum wallet eventually. So it does take some time. It's not an instantaneous thing. So a little bit of patience um, while that's going. So again, if you have multiple pools on here and say this pool goes down, it'll automatically switch to that next one. So running just one pool is not the greatest idea because if you, if you decide to run Vertcoin Miner and then you go to sleep and uh, maybe, that, maybe that pool goes down, goes offline, <clears throat> what have you, you won't be mining any longer. That was a big yawn. That was a baby yawn. So um, 50 hash rate is what I'll be getting. And if you have multiple, you know, one goes down, you'll be able to uh, just hop right in. It'll just automatically do it. Um, so we can check on my hash rate again. It's at 5.21 now. So again, it just keeps going up and it, it, it kind of goes up a little bit slow. Um, so Vertcoin at $6.58. And you mine these pretty quick. So I didn't put too much effort into mining. And I've already got, uh, you know, six, what, what one hundredths of a, of a Vertcoin so far now you might be wondering well what do i do with these coins afterwards um one thing you can do is um go to shapeshift.com i'll put that in the link um of the video as well and so you go to shapeshift and let's see shapeshift And you can turn these coins into another coin and then send it to a different wallet. Say, uh, for example, me, I like to trade in Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Ethereum on GDAX. So if I'm having uh, Vertcoin coming in, then I can't really trade them on that particular exchange. However, I can just click on deposit here um, and then you find Vertcoin. And it's usually down more at the bottom. Here it is, Vertcoin. And then you want to trade them. Let's say you want Bitcoin for your Vertcoin. And then you just hit continue. Um, usually you have to make an account. Um, and then what will happen is you'll deposit your Vertcoin and that will uh, transform it into Bitcoin. And then you can send that Bitcoin out 
from uh, this uh, from this wallet to uh, to GDAX or to your preferred exchange. Now there are some exchanges that do uh, deal in Vertcoin, but uh, I only use GDAX and, uh, slash Coinbase, if you will. Um, so GDAX currently only uses Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Ethereum. So for me, it's best to turn them into one of those three, and then that way I can put it on my exchange, sell it, and then continue on with my day. So that is Vertcoin Miner in a nutshell. And again, I'm, now I'm pulling 46.25. Uh, the more work you do with your computer while you're mining, of course, it's going to go down a little bit. And this fluctuates just a little bit naturally anyway. And over time, uh, you'll just develop... Uh, Vertcoin into your wallet, and for a while, for a while, it will say an unconfirmed, um, unmatured Vertcoin as you're receiving it. It takes a few hours uh, once you have that unmatured uh, Vertcoin to actually mature and to be able to send it out. So then I can actually send this out, um, you know, to uh, to Shapeshift, and then I would be able to uh, transfer that into into Bitcoin. But overall, that is Vertcoin. Um, one click miner in a nutshell. So what I'll do is I'll put this link here in the description so that you can get the miner. I'll also put Electrum um, in the description below as well. And I will also put shape shift, shape shift, excuse me, uh, into the description as well. So that you guys have that all in one location and you're able to able to do that just really quick. Now, Vertcoin, uh, to see the price, just Google uh, Vertcoin price, and it'll give you like the coinmarketcap.com and things like that so that you can see the price. Um, so, but let's just take a look, actually. Uh, so we'll, we'll go to the seven-day chart. Um, and so right now, it's about 650. And a few days ago when I was mining, it was, uh, well, let's go with 530, 529, somewhere around there. So it has gone up uh, over a dollar in just a few days. And uh, again, Vertcoin uh, can be mined pretty quickly. You can mine upwards of... Um, I think I did a calculator on Vertcoin, and my computer particularly um, will get about four or so coins a week, um, maybe five, depending, and uh, which doesn't seem like a lot. It's simply not a lot. However, um, if this coin goes up even just a few bucks and you have 10, 20, 30 of them, it could be a decent chunk of profit there. And uh, who knows, it might go up even more in the future. So that's one good thing about mining altcoins as opposed to using, say, NiceHash um, to just receive Bitcoin. Because with altcoins, um, a lot of the times you're actually mining for less money than you're getting with NiceHash and them just simply giving you Bitcoin. But in the future, these altcoins could double, triple, quadruple the price, just like Bitcoin has um, over the years. And if you have a lot of altcoins, then that means a lot of profit for you. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, all the links are going to be in the description below. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, what have you, put them in the comments. And uh, I'll get back to them as soon as I can. But until then, I will see you guys next time.